We continue to talk and we continue to talk to Dr. Scott Perry about key signs and symptoms for LGS. We talked about seizure types in a previous video. Scott, um, let's talk about what EEG readings can tell us as it relates to LGS. Yeah, so the EEG is something that you know, has very particular findings in LGS, and it's a key part of the syndromic diagnosis. The slow spike wave pattern uh, is a pattern where we see these generalized spikes, so basically bursts of electricity kind of throughout the entire EEG, uh, and the spikes are occurring at a frequency of two and a half hertz uh, or less. So that, that means in every second worth of time, there's two and a half spikes. Uh, or less. And then generalized paroxysmal fast frequency is another pattern commonly seen in LGS and a pattern that actually often can persist into adulthood. And that's where the EEG kind of flattens for a brief a moment with this very fast frequency on top of it. Um, so those are kind of two real key factors uh, that need to be present. But, but these EEG readings don't need to be there through someone's entire life, right? They're not present throughout life necessarily. So you can have an adult who doesn't have that pattern anymore, but still can have the diagnosis of lennox gastaut syndrome because at some point in their life, they had that EEG finding. Thank you, Scott. Look for the third sign of LGS and more from this series at talkaboutitonvideo.com. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to this video. Visit talkaboutitonvideo.com for more content and listen to our podcast, Talk About It.